Last time on Total Drama Action. A surprise package from the outside world promised big things for Beth. And the cast got a taste of life in zero gravity conditions. But all was not well in the universe as Owen struggled with his new role as mischief maker. In the end, Beth ended her engagement but won the challenge. Courtney ended the girls' alliance but won back her independence. And Harold ended his bid for the million but won a limousine ride back to the real world. Will Courtney and Beth's feud hurt their chance to go the distance? Will a guilty conscience cause Owen to crack? All this and more on today's Out of This World episode of Total Drama Action! Mom and Dad, I'm doing fine. You guys are on my mind. You asked me what I wanted to be, and now I think the answer is plain to see. I want to be famous. I want to live close to the sun. Don't pack your bags, because I've already won. Everything to prove, nothing in my way. I'll get there one day. Whipped at my head? No angry threat to stick a cork in it? <gasps> Where's Duncan? <sighs> Where were you all night? An alien abduction? It was, wasn't it? You were subjected to an endless night of alien probing. Oh, the humanity! Chill, Owen. I spent the night in Courtney's trailer. Really? What did you two do all night? Come on, come on! Down, boy! We talked. About relationship stuff, mostly. It's a little hazy. I'll let you know after I read this. Dude, Courtney gave you homework? Courtney wrote me a 32-page letter outlining all my faults and how to correct them if we're ever going to have a serious relationship, all of which she expects me to memorize. I think I would have preferred a night of alien probing. Oh. <sighs> Wake up, sleepyheads. Breakfast is served. Along with today's movie challenge, you've got 10 minutes to get your sorry butts down there. Great. Maybe I'll get lucky and today's genre will be guy in a coma movie. Did you say something? I heard breakfast is served and it all gets kind of hazy after that. Wow, chef. These scrambled eggs actually look pretty good. <laughs> scrambled eggs. <laughs> so, Courtney, you and Duncan, huh? Yeah, it was nice to finally work things out between us. We didn't keep you up, did we? Nah. I totally heard every insane word. Well, almost every word. I dozed off around page 9, section 3, paragraph 4. Then again on page 22, section 11, paragraph 8. <laughs> Poor Duncan. Scrambled eggs. <laughs> hey, babe. Duncan! I thought we agreed only I would engage in the use of pet names. It's right there on page three, section five. You promised to memorize that letter verbatim. I, I will, I will. I I I'm just really tired right now. Aren't you? Don't worry, I forgive you, just like I forgave the other 316 minor transgressions I outlined in my letter. But I expect you to memorize that letter so it doesn't happen again. Anything for you, babe. Courtney. You may hold me now. Cool. I know. Those two are sickening. Oh, you really are choking. <laughs> New message. I just need to check. Attention, cast. 
Dude, what's with the flying rat on your shoulder? That's my new BFFF. Best flying friend forever. That brings us to today's movie genre, the animal buddy flick. You try coming up with 26 movie genres, it was either animal buddy or guy in a coma movies. The hallmark of any good animal buddy flick is the human animal bonding. First, the human and the animal start out as enemies. Then, through many misadventures, animal and human grow to care about each other and become fast friends. You guys, just hang tight for a sec, okay? Let go of my claw! So, where were we? Right. The first Animal Buddy movie challenge will be to pick an animal and teach it to be just like you. That shouldn't be too hard, since you're all animals. The cast member whose animal most resembles them at the end wins the challenge. I've always shared a bond with nature's creatures. When I was a kid, I made friends with the rats in our attic. It was like Cinderella! All right, cast. Time to meet your future BFFFFFs, best furry, feathered, or finned friends forever. <gasps> Pick an animal and get training. You have three hours. I got the shark. The shark is mine. Yes. Actually, it makes perfect sense. Those two are made for each other. The only difference is one would eat you alive in a heartbeat, and the other's a shark. I'll take the chameleon in tribute to my beloved reptilian friend, Scruffy. Dude, Scruffy was a bug. Nobody talks about Scruffy like that. Nobody. Uh, I'll take the bear. All they do is eat and sleep. <laughs> We're practically related. Yes, that leaves this little guy. I've always had a soft spot for vermin. Shake a paw. <gasps> Please tell me this cute little creature has been tested for rabies. Natch. Aww. Did we check for rabies? Oh, no, no. I told you bright green like my mohawk. Not that wussy moss green. Come on, get it right. Come on, boy, you can do it. Roll over. Play dead. Anything? Look, let's not waste each other's time. I don't like you, you don't like me. But if you help me get to the finals, I'll make you a very rich shark. Duncan, hour's almost up. Hour for what? Page two, section five, ring any bells? You promised to pay me a compliment once every hour. Oh, yeah, right. Um, you have... Nice teeth. Quit fooling around with that glorified lizard and get memorizing. After all, what's more important, winning some stupid challenge or making me happy? Hey, I like Courtney, I really do, but I also like a million big ones. Best case scenario, I win the money and the girl. But if it comes down to it, I need the money more than I need some high maintenance chick with a superiority complex. <laughs> Don't tell her I said that, okay? When Chris first offered me money to sabotage the other cast members, I didn't handle it very well. Now I kind of dig it. As long as I mess with everyone equally, it's not like I'm giving anybody the advantage. Last chance. If you know what's good for you, you'll get it right. <sighs> Wrong. Wrong again. Not even close. What are you, colorblind? And stop hissing at me. Ready? Here we go. F I S H Y. You ain't got no alibi. You fishy, uh huh. You fishy, uh huh. Come on, get your fins up. Fins up. Come on, get your fins up. Get your fins up. Okay, from the top. F I S H Y. You ain't got no alibi. You fishy, uh huh. You fishy. Dealing with an entire team of top-notch lawyers. I'm not about to be intimidated by a glorified dolphin. Ah! It's easy. Just watch and learn. Mm. 
Thanks. Clearly, I'm not needed here. All right, Cass. Time to judge the animal buddies. Courtney, you look terrible. You should see the other guy. Beth, you and your raccoon are up. Sorry, Chris. I was totally unable to teach my raccoon anything. Hmm. Oh, no! I lost my retainer! Ten! All right, Bear, show us your best Owen impression. Ooh. No fair! We haven't started yet! Next. Shoot! I forgot I had a message. Courtney, you seem to be short one animal, buddy. It, uh, it couldn't make it. Sashimi, anyone? <laughs> Where'd you get fresh fish around it? As if I'd be that cruel. I gave the shark a nice roundhouse to the belly and it coughed up its lunch. From his stomach to yours. Oh. Points have been tallied, and the winner of the first challenge is... Beth. Yeah! I'm the winner! And also a loser. Be right back. Here we are, gang. Don't you just love field trips? The woods? Again? <laughs> your next challenge is to find your way back to the film lot. A 10-mile hike through these woods, using only your animal buddies to guide you. But be careful. Several vicious and life-threatening traps have been set up along the way. Who would do such a thing? Um, me? First one back wins invincibility. Beth gets to shave 30 minutes off her final time for winning the first challenge. Everyone ready? Wait, where's Courtney? <laughs> She's with her animal. <sighs> back for round two, are you? And I see you've brought friends. See you all back at the film lot, and good luck. Hello, GPS. <laughs> As a reward for messing with the rest of the cast, Chris gave me this to help me get back to the lot, which means a ticket to the final three. I have an uncanny sense of direction. I'll have us back in camp in no time. Ow! <gasps> oh, no! The path is gone! The woods are shrinking! We're trapped here forever! <gasps> Oh, what a useless animal. I wish I had picked a bear. I could have hitched a ride on its back. Hey, where'd you go? Hey, get back here right now! Right. Death traps. I took care of your buddies. And now it's your turn. Come on. Bring it. PDA is my only contact with the outside world. Without it, I'd be... I'd be on level ground with the others, and that cannot happen. This girl plays to win! Okay, look. Give that back, and I'll let you eat one of the others. I can make it happen, seriously. No long-distance calls! My roaming's already through the roof! Get back here, chum bag! <laughs> so I can get back to the lot and get some sleep. You're my only hope. Could this be the, the way home? So long, sucker. Looks like I don't need you after all. Ah! Oh, no more booby traps. Wow. 
Wow. Wasn't expecting that. Two down, one to go. Once we deal with Beth, we can head back to the movie lot for dinner. I hear that, buddy. Oh, oh shoot! How are we gonna get down from here? In my experience, there is no problem in the world that can't be solved by excessive eating. We need to eat until our combined weight is enough to break the branch. Hope you're hungry. I don't think there's time for a break. Okay, long as we're quick. Wow! I can't believe it! I had no idea you were so... civilized! It's like you're our equal. Hey! I mean, you're superior. Okay, but after a gourmet dinner and a quick game of ping pong, we really should head back. So hungry. Pure chameleon. Pure boy. Ah, come to Duncan. I just want a little taste. <laughs> Not bad. Oh! Oh, yes! Free at last! Oh. Oh. I learned a lot today. One, never eat wild berries without knowing if they're poisonous. Two, explosive diarrhea is not a recommended outdoor activity. And three, you're gonna wanna stay out of those woods for a while. <clears throat> a long while. Beth and her raccoon. Nice one. You were the first team to arrive. The two of us work so well together because our friendship is based on mutual respect. <laughs> now, what was I saying? Oh, yes, mutual respect. That's the key to any healthy relationship. Where is everyone? Sure, they'll be here any minute. Any minute now. Chris, it's been two days. Maybe we should send out a search party or... And here they come now. Courtney, you're shivering. <gasps> you must be freezing. PDA withdrawal. <laughs> Are the flies much? Welcome back, Cast. Better late than never. Beth and her raccoon buddy easily won the challenge, which means invincibility. Beth gets a free pass into the final three. Beth! The question is, who will join her in the final three? And who will be the next to leave? There's only one place to find out at the most exciting Gilded Chris ceremony ever. You know you've had it rough. When this place starts to look good, Give me that! Beth, how did your rat get its filthy paws on my PDA? Mr. Whiskers found it washed up on the shore this morning. You speak vermin now? And you named it Mr. Whiskers? Ugh, why doesn't any of that surprise me? Oh, a message from my lawyers. Wonder what those bloodsuckers want now. Harold was right! Cheater! I trusted you! I accidentally toot. Ah, oh, I'm actually glad they found out that I'm the producer's mole. Now I can go back to being myself. Although, on the way here, I short-sheeted Beth's bed, cleaned a toilet with Duncan's toothbrush, and filled the salt shakers with onion powder. What can I say? It's hard going cold turkey. You can't hide behind that bear forever. <gasps> you underestimate my cowardice. <laughs> Whoa, Whew. that's better. Thanks. Where's my letter? I want to add a few amendments to it. I, 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 I lost it in the woods. Sorry. I had my lawyers make several copies. Be right back. You really bonded with your chameleon. They're so cute. What are you talking about? You mean he's been here all along? Oh. This is...
is a big one, Cast. Beth is safe from elimination, which means the rest of you are fair game. So, sharpen those claws and cast your votes. Someone is going home for the last time. Owen betrayed us, but Courtney's the bigger threat. I like Duncan, but Beth and Courtney eat less. More for me. See you never, traitor. Huh? The Gilded Chris goes to... Beth and Duncan! Courtney, since Beth and Duncan both voted for you, it's time for your ride home. Owen, I'll deal with you in a moment. What? Duncan voted for me? Ugh! Court's popularity's in the toilet. I can't have her dragging me down. But the real reason, a 32-page letter. And people call me psycho. How could you do this to me? After everything! We are so done! Uh, Chris? <laughs> I think you forgot to give me my Gilded Chris Award. Sorry, Owen. You've been fired. What? Why? What's the point in having a spy who's been spied? Duncan, Beth, the final two. One of you will become a millionaire, and the other will not. Tune in to our most controversial episode ever of Total Drama! <laughs>